Today's high winds also made things difficult for firefighters working to put out a large fire in a Columbus scrap yard. This was earlier today. WCBI Stephen Pempo was at the fire. He joins us in the studio tonight with more on that story. Stephen. Andrea, the Lowndes County Fire Coordinator told me they were actually counting on today's heavy rain to put this fire out. They spent much of the day on scene making sure it didn't get out of control. The black smoke from a fire in a Columbus scrapyard was thick enough to cover the sun and make it difficult for drivers to see. This is, you know, acrid, nasty smoke coming from these uh, polycarbons, so uh, it does it does look real bad. It's just causing some traffic issues. Lowndes County firefighters spent close to six hours battling the large blaze after responding to Appliances Plus in Columbus at around 9.45 a.m. Upon arrival, we found two large piles of uh, scrap appliances, and uh, both of those were on fire along with some uh, cargo container 18-wheeler trailers. Lowndes County Fire Coordinator Neil Austin says crews were working on a piece of equipment when sparks ignited the fire. A torch or a welder and some of the sparks got into the scrap pile which contained appliance insulation and those kind of things and uh, that's what's producing this large amount of black smoke. In addition to the sheer size of the blaze, firefighters also have to contend with the day's strong winds fueling the flames. Wind is playing a huge factor on us right now. Uh, the wind is picking up, so we're having we're having issues with that also. Eight volunteer firefighters across three districts were brought in to contain the fire. No injuries. Uh, we are uh, using unmanned monitors uh, as well as hose streams to uh, fight the fire. Fire crews were able to stop the fire from spreading to the business itself. Austin told me fire crews had the blaze completely under control just before 1 p.m. The bridge in front of Appliance Plus on 182 is also back open.